Welcome to getting started with NextGen Gallery. First, install WordPress. Then go to Plugins and add new plugins. Type in NextGen Gallery. Hit enter. And then NextGen Gallery will come up and just hit install and confirm you would like to install it. Activate the plugin and then you'll see the green box with the word gallery at the bottom left of your admin sidebar. I recommend starting at other options and setting your default settings. For example, turning on to delete images and automatically resizing images after upload. I also recommend turning on to back up the original images because then you can actually revert to that original backup at any time if you make a mistake with either the resize, with watermarking, or if you ever want to sell your images using NextGen Pro, having the backups turned on is beneficial for you. You have thumbnail options as well. You got your default thumbnail settings. You can change that at any time you would like. And you can also override that at any time when inserting a gallery using the insert gallery window. For the lightbox effects, you have Fancy Box, Shutter, Shutter Reloaded, Thick Box, and you can even make your own, or you can turn off the light box effect completely. You can also have it set to only apply to next-gen images, or to apply to all images that link to files. For watermarks, um, typically there's a preview images, preview image that shows, but when you don't have any images upload, then the preview image will not show yet. So um, we're going to override that for now, or skip that for now, and we'll come back. Under styles, this is really for advanced users, you can actually enable custom CSS. When you enable that, you can customize the CSS and this is upgrade safe, meaning anytime there's an update to NextGen Gallery, this will not be overwritten. So your, your custom CSS included within here is always safe. Another advanced feature is the roles and capabilities where you can um, set what roles have permissions to do certain tasks. Under miscellaneous, you can turn on the MIDI RSS if you would like. You can clear the next-gen uh, image cache. You can change the permalink slug and change the max image count to be displayed in the front. The, by default, it's 500. I changed to 10,000. There's also the reset all, all, all options at default. I'm going to do that right now so you can see again. Quick, Quickly go through this one more time. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to go down. You can see, let's see, go back to here. Okay, I'm going to turn that to all image files. And again, change that to 10,000. So you can see that takes a matter of seconds to do. Saved. And then next, once you do your other options of all those, this is really the most important feature uh, settings to set right off the gate. Um, but then you got your gallery settings. Now, this is the default settings for the next gen gallery galleries. These are the default settings that all shortcodes would will will use if you're using shortcodes. This is also the default setting that all galleries will use when inserting through the insert gallery window. But it's important to note that when you use the insert gallery window, which you'll see in a little bit, you can actually override this visually. You can override this each of these settings. So go through the gallery settings and adjust each setting as you would like. Look at the um, little tooltip icon for the information about what each of these is for. And just use the accordions to go through each of these options. Now I'm going to add a gallery. There's a few different ways you can add a gallery. For one, you can click on create a new gallery. And if you had other galleries already there, you can just use that drop down to choose which gallery you want to upload to. But because we don't, I'm going to type in the word test gallery. Now the gallery is going to be called test gallery. I'm going to drag over a bunch of images. You can see here there's a bunch of images. And you can see there's different sizes. 618 kilobytes. There's one that's uh, 1.1 megabytes. The upload size of what you're allowed to upload is not capped by NextGen Gallery. The upload size of what you're allowed to upload is capped by your host. So to determine what uh, your upload size is, you have to go to the Overview tab. And let me go to that real quick. You go to the Overview tab, scroll down a little bit, and your PHP max upload size for this server is set to 32 megabytes. So look at there. If you are seeing that it is very low, then uh, simply contact your host and ask them to increase the max upload size. So I'm going to do that again, test gallery. And I'm going to drag in some images. 
Now I also want to show you, you can also drag a zip file. So here we go, I'm dragging the zip file. It added that down here as well. And then when I hit upload, it's going to start uploading that pretty quick. And there we go. Now that is uploaded. Uh, it's going to, the zip file takes a little bit longer. 15 images uploaded. If I want, I can go even more. So I can upload some more images. And now look, I'm going to choose that test gallery that's ready here. And I'm going to upload to that. Okay, 19 more images were uploaded. Now, the other way you can upload an image is this again for advanced users. You can actually upload through FTP and you can upload to a folder and then select that folder. And then you can either move that, if you hit import, it'll just move it to the gallery folder and create a new next gen gallery. Or you can keep the images where they are in the folder on your server and import it that way. And it'll still create the next gen gallery, but it will be it'll stay on the server where you have it instead of moving it to the next gen gallery folder. Now, if I go to manage galleries, you'll see I have a test gallery ID one. It's the first gallery. If I go into there, uh, you'll see a bunch of settings, and then you'll see all the images that I've uploaded to that gallery. And you'll notice some of them have some words in the title. Some of them have keywords or tags. Some of them have descriptions. What this is, is NextGen Gallery reads the EXIF and IPTC data from your images and aggregates it and combines it and puts it into the title, description, and tags. The alt and title is the title of the image. The alt is actually good for SEO and the title is uh, for the actual image in, in light boxes and whatnot. The description is basically your caption of the image. And then these are the keywords that were in the uh, in the metadata that get converted to tags. Now up here, this is the name of your gallery. This is the description of your gallery. These get used in when they're included inside of albums. Link to page is a feature where you can actually link the gallery to a page. So when the gallery is inside of the an album and you click on that gallery, instead of it automatically showing NextGen creating its own URL, you're actually specifying where you want the gallery to go. And also, you you can have complete control over that page, what gallery type is on that page, what text is on that page, anything else you want to put there. Preview image, this is actually the image that is used as the thumbnail within the, uh, within the album. Create new page, if I hit create new page right now, it's gonna create a new page. You can see it just created a page test gallery. And I can link that, link to page to the new test gallery page and hit save. Next is scan folder for new images. Um, again, this is more for advanced users. You can actually upload images through FTP into this gallery folder, the WP content slash gallery slash test gallery for this gallery, and then hit scan for new images. It will look on that folder on the server for new images and then add them to the gallery if you want to do it that way. Um, so when you, we'll go back to the images right now. So you can see here the thumbnail. I can click on that and it'll actually uh, show it to you larger. I can click on meta and it'll show me all the metadata that's uh, included in that image. I can edit the thumb and actually edit exactly where I want it to be. And then close the box. I can rotate the image if I want, any which way I want to do it. Uh, I can also um, recover it from the backup if I need to and delete it and so on. Also, there's bulk actions. So you've got a lot of bulk act actions like set the watermark and we'll go back to the watermark a little bit but you can set the watermark um, if, if you want to add a watermark to these images and again this is where having the, your backup originals turned on within other options because if you make a mistake with the watermark you can then recover from backup and it'll revert back to where it was you can also create new images uh, create new thumbnails and set a specific size if you want to override the default ones you can delete images re-import from metadata if you make a mistake with the alt and all that the title and description and tags you can bulk rotate, bulk copy, bulk move, bulk delete tags, add tags, and override tags. Lots of things you can do in bulk. So I'm going to leave that as is, and I'm going to move, manage albums. Now albums, it's important to know that albums can actually have, within an album, you can have another album, or you can have a gallery. So I'm going to create an album called Album 1. And I'm going to drag that test gallery from... This is what's in the album. This is what you can add to the album. And I'm going to hit update. And now I have um, album one with the test gallery included. I'm going to go back to no album selected and create um, 
an album called Master Album. Hit Add. Now I'm going to add Album 1 to that. Now Album 1 has included, uh, or Master Album has Album 1 included, plus it has, um, inside of Album 1 is actually Test Gallery. So this is an album within an album, and then a gallery inside of that. Now, let's go to that test gallery page that we created. You can see here it created just a very basic shortcode. This is a shortcode. This is great for people who just prefer text shortcodes. But a lot of um, image, advanced imaging users are more visual people. So what we created, this green button sort of matches the green button at the bottom left, is our insert gallery window. What this allows you to do is visually insert a gallery any way you would like. But before I show you that, I want to show you that you can also manage your galleries within this interface. So at any time that you're inside of a poster page and you realize you made a mistake or need to make a change on something, you can actually open that into a gallery window, go to manage galleries, um, or go to manage albums or tags or whatever, upload new images, and you can manage all of that right from in here. Now. Here we are on display galleries. So what do we want to display? You want to display a basic thumbnail gallery. I can hit test gallery here. You can add multiple galleries to this. So just add in as many as you as you see. You can also add albums. So I have two albums. I'm actually going to add master albums so you can see what that does. Then you can say what would you like to display that album as when it's when you click on it to go to the gallery. And I'm going to say show as basic thumbnails. Now it's important to note that test gallery, we actually linked it to another page. So we actually, we linked it to the page that we're showing right now. So um, it's not actually going to link anywhere. So I'm actually going to go back and change that from, instead of displaying the album, I'm actually going to display the gallery as we have it. So test gallery. And now I'm going to override the thumbnails. I'm going to go to 150 by 150. And I'm going to go hard crop and show 10 on the page with Ajax page pagination. And I'm going to change the show a slideshow text to just slideshow. Now, in sort or exclude, you can literally sort or exclude images. So I'm going to exclude this one. Let's say I don't want that. Let's say the order, I don't like it. I can either sort by one of these, one of the pre-mades, or I can just drag and drop where I want images to go in the sort order. And then when I'm ready, just go down and hit save. Now you'll see it inserted a placeholder. I'm actually going to delete that the short code that was there. And let's say we update this. Now the page is updated. Now I'm going to view the page. And here's that gallery. All squares with pagination on. If I click on an image, it shows. You can see it shows a description. With If I hover over it left and right, I can go left and right with the images. Or I can use my keyboard, so I'm going to put the mouse away, left and right with the keyboard. I can also hit escape and it'll close out of that. Or you can hit the X that was at the top right. Um, go to page two. You notice the URL is staying the same. This is That's what pa uh, Ajax page pagination is doing. I can also hit slideshow and show the basic slideshow gallery. Now the transition's kind of slow right now, so it's gonna go slowly, or I can just click on it and it'll just change automatically. And go back and show thumbnails again. And there we go. Now let's say you made a mistake. So we go back to edit gallery and you click on this placeholder image and it's gonna bring back that inter gallery window that you had before where you can actually change the settings. So now let's say I wanna make two columns at most and I wanna show 20 on a page or we can do five on a page, let's do six, keep it even. And we hit update again, view the page and now it's two columns with six on a page and Ajax pagination is still on. And there we go. Now let's say we want to do this. Let's make a new page and call it albums. Now I'm going to add that album to here. So let's do this. I'm going to do an extended album, the master album, and we'll display it as that and leave the default as is and we'll hit publish. And now if I view this page, I inserted the master album. Inside of the master album was album one. If I go into album one, I have test gallery. So here's the test gallery that I created and here's the description. And now if I click on this, typically if you don't link to a page, it'll automatically show the gallery on the same albums page that I had. But because I linked to the page, 
it's actually going to the test gallery page that I created. Very, so it's a different page. So let's go back to the dashboard again. This is Next Gen Gallery. This is the overview page. I recommend starting at other options. Another option set all the master settings you're going to want. For example, watermarks, which we skipped over before. So let me start with text. Here it is at the bottom right, WordPress demo as the text. I can move it to the center. If I want, I can move it anywhere I want. Bottom center. I can change the opacity. I'm going to go to the opacity to 70 and go with the font size bigger. Change the color to orange. Refresh the preview. And now we have the demo watermark. Now, if you want to use an image, you can do that with an image. And instead of it being text, you just put in the image URL. Basically, upload an image to the media library, copy the URL, and paste it right here. And then you can adjust where you want to where you want to go. Refresh the thing, the uh, the the image, and you'll actually see that watermark there. So, um, go through other options. Set all of your default settings. When you're ready, save that, and then go to gallery settings. Set those default settings. And when you're done, save that. And then go to add galleries and images and start uploading your images. Then go to manage albums, start creating your albums. And of course, we also have uh, NextGen Plus and NextGen Pro available. NextGen Plus and NextGen Pro come with uh, additional gallery types, as well as our resp fully responsive Pro Lightbox, which is fully customizable, has image commenting, social sharing, deep lin linking for in individual images. NextGen Pro comes with e-commerce, digital downloads, proofing, and of course, they both come with our Pro email support. That is NextGen Gallery in a nutshell. That's how to get started. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for watching.